G'day and welcome back to our Hamburger Universalis campaign in EU4. Uh, let's start this one with some development. Add an extra three, so 93 development each costs us 546 now. Fantastic. S would like to see how many points we've actually sunk into development so far in this game. Crazy numbers. Uh, what do we have down here? Small English army attached to us in Hessen. Alright, importing iron. Military power. Videm's opinion goes up. Or take a mercantilism. Sounds better. Let's get this army. Actually, let's get him over to Kalmar. Alright, Shivan cede things to Russia. He continues to grow. Bukharan Or. Ob. Bukharan Ob has been separated somehow. Alright, and there's a the Scandinavian army. It's going to come back through them. You have to come through the English to get to us. And we've won the siege of Ulfsborg. Um, We'll just. Well, we're not really going to be needed there. So we'll go doing little bits on the way. Nobody can attach to him anymore. Alright, Bamberg was... Alright, here we go. Give core Bamberg to Würzburg. Bavaria. Release Magdeburg and Pomerania. No trees in Memmingen. That's really not much for such an easy coalition win. But Magdeburg is out. And Scandinavia is back on Lubeck again. Alright, now England's coming over to do something. Um, don't particularly want these guys to sit around doing that. So, what we'll do is, once we arrive, we'll get these guys doing something else. But this lot, yeah, English fleet's there, so we'll be fine. Um, create a new unit, just out of them. Unless Gosler, no, he doesn't have a siege. So they'll stay. This guy can bugger off. Well, that didn't work. Right, they can split. And then we'll probably go do the Siege of Stockholm. It's not his cap. No, of course, he's not Sweden. He's Scandinavia. Okay. Chirad and Blekingar are ours. Go to Skarborg and Östergotland. Alright, let's just check Scandinavia. His capital should be in Shelland. Yeah, that's fine. Um, we'd like to piece him out before this whole thing happens. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. He's going to kick a couple of merchant ships out into England's heavy fleet. He won the Siege of Kalmar. Uh, Stockholm and Neka. I thought there was an actual fort there. Don't know why I thought that. Okay, there's an army. Actually, this guy was supposed to die, so we can go the other way. Alright, let's throw a Gotland is ours. Go over to Bergslagen. Be nice if we could force him to go bankrupt before this war ended. Helsingliland. Alright. And Friesen's got a stack hidden in there to do that. And England actually used a transport fleet. Nice. Alright. Stockholm is ours. No more capital fort for you. We get through. We'll go to Jemtland. Trundelag and Lapland. We don't want to touch. Nordlandener. We won't be able to get around to. Alright. Burgundy are doing stuff and Bergslagen is ours. He hasn't won that yet somehow. I do like the idea of the English uh, hanging around a bit longer. We'll... Yeah, we'll ignore the war score we're going to lose from that. Although, call for peace. Damn it. War exhaustion, what's it cost us? Diplo. Nah, not worth it. Could have been buying up stability and everything else rather than doing development. Don't win it. Yemtland is ours. And... You get an extra few points for being on Trondelag and Lapland. Alright, this will fall today. Yep. Alright, Hamburg is under attack. But Sax Lauenberg hopefully understands that this was his and he should go take it back. Don't have to be 
faithful to realize that's your own land. We got Bretsburg. Okay. Agdesiden. Hey, that took Christensen. Guess we're going around to Bergentris. And didn't actually want to do these sieges, but. Well, we're there now, so I guess we might as well. Peace offer from Scandinavia. We've got him on 99%. And not actually going to feed all this for Dan and. Hey, and uh, that to Sax Lauenberg. Just wanted to set it up to see what was going to be possible. And in the meantime, let's come back down this way. You know, these guys, these three, if they actually teamed up properly, they could kick him out of our capital there. They're very close. Don't know if they'd reinforce each other. Particularly if Verden wouldn't come in. And if he attacked Verden, then Sax Lauenberg wouldn't go in. Alright, the Burgermeister's reputation is tarnished. We'll lose stability. We won the Siege of Lapland. Okay, Lapland. Do we want to head around? We can't even head around the Scandies to get to Nordland. Enough. So, these guys instead come down this way. Trondlag won't take too long. I thought the English were going to go to Romsdal. Turned around instead. Alright. Beggar's influence. Um, we could have done nobility when the other thing ran out. Let's get the 50 military. These guys are in at 64. Austria's power controller. Crap. Spent so many points trying to get that too. And is that... Yeah, cancel that mission. Alright, Scandinavia still want to do the thing. We'll take that long before he can do anything else. Far from ideal... Uh, yeah, it is. This is positive at the moment. So what we're going to do is buy down Friesland again. Keep him placated. Then we can lose prestige. We've won Trondelag. So it's basically 100%. Taking those will put us on 100. Uh, after that's one. Oh, England are coming down. Nice. Alright, goodbye Scandinavia. England's got a 234 to your 113. Needs to catch up. Mm, that's not good. We'll stay at war long enough for them to help with that. Ulm have declared on Unspark. Still chasing him. There we go. And it's in the woods as well. Look at that. Massive morale. Well, bonuses across the board. Oh, look at that. What a smashing. If he was halfway intelligent, he would have chased him to Neumark. Oh, just lower the states, call for peace, and low stability don't matter. Hamburg have occupied Nordlander. So that's all wasteland, nothing to do there. These guys can come and sit on Chelharad. Ship costs go up. Okay. And that is Woodlands. Don't like his chances of doing much there. He's pulled out the Polish Separatists, though. Out of Lentschitzer. Teutonic Order have declared on Pushkov. Cleansing the heresy. Pushkov would be Orthodox. And they're Catholic. Lithuania is Catholic as well. Okay. Getting there. Before he takes Stolp, we're going to want to pace this out. I've done everything else there. Alright, let's just go ahead and take a look. What can we grab? It's all going to be about the aggressive expansion. And... Baba Viden, Saxe-Lauenberg, and Saxe-Lauenberg. That's what we want to take. Obviously, that's not a good idea. Do it without Lund. We could do it now. Nuremberg and Gelray would be gone, but we don't want to wait for this. Well, let's have a look. Evoke his cores. It's all Russia, except for Holstein. Get rid of his core on there. And Anul doesn't have a rivalry with us. All right, then. Uh, access, access. He has no allies. So war reps would be nice. Humiliation would help. And a couple of ducats. And we're still well and truly in charge, so we don't need to do that one straight away. We'll wait until January and have another look at that. 
Alright. And he's gone bankrupt. Perfect timing. Well, would have been better before that. But let's get England over there to do the thing. Hopefully they'll wander on through. Saxe Lamberg should be able to destroy that now that he's bankrupt. Morale will be absolutely shot. Yeah, England got on the boats. And we are able to lose some of these, but not many. Pomeranian separatists in Greifswald aren't good. Surprising. Must have ridiculous war exhaustion. Seven. Okay. What's ours? Five. Fair enough. We'll peace out soon. We have a long period of peace. Now, with that fort gone, we could still peace out. Okay. Cardinal Minister. And it's January, so we'll have a look. Uh, mission strength, papal influence, tolerance to heretics, gain prestige would be better. We do not need his vice to rule Hamburg. He's Burgermeister. No Republican tradition events for a while. Um, right, the peace deal. Brandenburg, Scandinavia. Scandinavia is the only one that would matter, I think. Brandenburg and Bohemia might have rebuilt by then, but yeah, this is absolutely fine. Sax Lundberg, Viden, Viden renounces claim on Holstein. Viden, Viden, Sax Lundberg. Sounds reasonable. Wouldn't mind giving a bit of this to Friesland, but the border gore would be horrendous for that. So let's just go send that off. Nice. Little green Sealand army. So where is Scandinavia's capital now? It's actually in Lund. Okay, so we have to get across there to do a level one fort. Hmm. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for this one. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we need quite a period of peace. We can get from Sealand all the way through, so we did what we wanted to do there. We've sent him bankrupt, so I assume Russia's peace will be up soon. Already is. Let's see why he hasn't already declared war on him. Eh? He's not doing anything else. Alright, and the mission. Rival of rival is Savoy. War exhaustion less than one. Would give us national arrest. Manpower manpower recovery speed is probably better than anything else on offer. So yes, we need to recover from the wars. We will spend some points to do it. Then we'll have to remember that these guys need to recover from the wars as well. Better diplo tech than us, really. No, yeah, fair enough. Be a while until we can get it. The spending, <laughs> yeah, not doing particularly well there. Teutonic Order is sowing discontent. All right, we have recovered because of the manpower recovery, twenty-three thousand. So we've already got five thousand back. Rival of rival Savoy is easy. Playing station of Pushkov. Wow, Teutonic Order is blown out. Uh, Savoy to improve relations should definitely be possible Scandinavia has announced us as a rival it's unfortunate they weren't already no, conquered provinces from Scandinavia and humiliated them okay Ansbach, we'll cede Ansbach to Ulm Ulm give it straight back to Ansbach, well done Austria returned on Norfolk Territory Alright, what are you? Lamberger Nobles. Um, that would be a 20 stack. He doesn't seem to think that he can handle that. I don't want to go over there to help him out. And I also don't want to pay the army or have the fort active. Alright, so we should have... Uh, just humiliate on Burgundy. Truce with Brandenburg and truce with Scandinavia. Alright, Burgundy. You're allied with Austria still. You call England in. Uh, Munster. I have no CB on. Even though I did set him to hostile so that somebody would fabricate. No fabrications there. Alright, lose stability or gain corruption. We are not really ahead of time. Let's just go ahead and gain the corruption because the points aren't too important. 
Alright, you have claims on people already doing stuff too. <laughs> it's your territorial core over there. Alright, it's a new year. All in for tech. Tactics and shock. Sounds like some good stuff. Conscription center coming up soon. Alright, 22 is uh, a few build a few different buildings come up 22. Yeah, and then the last one's come up 24. Alright, definitely going to keep this guy. Need the points. It's only 44 and he's not fantastic. And our general is dead. Okay. <laughs> France is paying the Teutonic Order's debts. They should be able to pay their own amount of land that they have. And we should probably do a quick check on our allies. Alright, England's worse. Let's improve with them. And then, I guess, Castile. Flanxation of Arken by Tria. Scandinavia. Claim Hamburg. Claim it all you want. You're not getting it. It's not like they'd be able to fight through. England can steal Austria and Russia to be able to take any land from us. And we need to check out uh, the Den. It is spot on 200 development. Saxe-Lauenburg, 198. Friesland, significantly less. Once declared on Ansbach for a reconquest. Polish separatists. He's still having trouble dealing with that himself. The noble rebels really don't bother us though. As long as he can keep going in behind and grabbing the stuff. I think they'll be okay. Uh, Magdeburg, we have nothing on. Brandenburg, truce is... 68, 7 years from now. Yep, Burgundy is still sabotaging us. Yep, let's get these slowly coming in. Alright, uh, Friesland. No claims. Veden has a claim on Munster now. That's perfect. Alright, Brandenburg's separatists in Neumark. Yeah, they're having issues. Uh, we don't really want them to come into any wars while they have ridiculous amounts of war exhaustion. He's doing much better. Friesland, yeah, not so much. We should start peace, but it's going to depend on what his allies are. Holland and Würzburg. Alright. Stay at peace long enough. Uh, this claim. 87 we have to go to war by. That's alright. Gives us a few years to get their... I should have cleared on um, To get their war exhaustion down. I think we should probably go in there and help. Hey, let's lose a little more stability, hey? No chance of a disaster, so that's okay. Now, if we get rid of subject rebels, we are still fine. This whole free city thing is fantastic for just having no stability and still being stable. Scandinavian separatists. Oh, they're definitely going to fire, aren't they? In a year. In Funen. Okay, manpower reserves need to recover. It's not going to happen. But we'll uh, give it a chance. Over here, yearly inflation reduction isn't needed. But I guess that's the only one we can really go with. Alright. Austria have embraced their manufactories. And five years from now. Yep. During the next election cycle. Alright. We need to pay this army. Ansbach. We we'll cede Mainz to Mainz. Ansbach to Wurttemberg. It's getting broken up. And we'll have just the little chance of paper control. Alright, recall from England. Recall from Savoy. Need to go to Austria. Castile is yeah, going to be done soon. And Russia we need to improve with. Get a weak claimant air. Interesting. How many favours do we have there now? It's going to be 40 years until we could call him in. It's already been a while. Okay. 
it's kind of weird seeing Viden so large. And his boss is just this tiny little country in the middle. Which is going to take admin tech soon. And yeah, next idea group level 22. See, so yeah, I was thinking espionage for the additional loyalist recruitment. It's about the only thing we'd want from that though. You can get a diplomat, mercenary maintenance, and yeah, not really. Alright, there's the guys in Funan. Didn't get to see how he was doing on the core. There's a claim. Sax Lauenberg has the claim. That's interesting. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright, um, did want to go and take care of them, but he's done it for us. Recall from Castile, and there's our admin tech. Production efficiency, totally useful. Um, these guys in early 1666, after the election. Alright, here we go. Gain another three mercantilism. Castile declared on the Navajo. All good. And they don't even have a leader over there. Planet has declared on Mainz. Um, question is, do we want to go and deal with that? Really don't want Scandinavian separatists to have a victory. So it kind of makes sense if we had a leader ourselves. 2-3, he's got no manoeuvre. So he's going to take a straight crossing penalty. Um, we've got to have some kind of manoeuvre. There we go. 3-2 with 1. Should beat nothing. Yep, no straight crossing. That's what we want to say. Got the bonuses. Slaughtered him. Not too much manpower lost. Now, should be plenty of time. With no chance for an uprising. Is he restarting this? He is. Okay, well, it's all looking good. So I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon. See you later.